There's no such thing as free time, even when you step away from it a little bit, which is the world of coaching. You know, there's things that wake you up at night, and there's things that wake you up in the morning that you're constantly thinking about because you can never do enough. Welcome back. Pete Byrne and Bennett Wise with you. Notre Dame will certainly look different on offense this year. Of course, a new veteran quarterback, Sam Hartman, who we're going to hear from in a little bit. He's certainly a big reason for that, but there is also a new play caller, Bennett. Yeah, Tommy Reese left Notre Dame for Alabama in January, prompting a highly publicized search for a new offensive coordinator, which led to the Irish promoting Jared Parker, who will continue to coach the tight ends while also adding the responsibility for overseeing the entire operation on offense. That he will. I had a chance to chat with Parker during this training camp about his offensive philosophy and the growing relationship with his new quarterback. I know you guys collaborate a lot as a staff offensively, but how have things changed for you over the last few months in terms of the amount of time you're investing into what the overall offense looks like? Well, a lot. I mean, it's a good question. It, that's the biggest difference, right? I mean, the you, you quickly learn as you've seen other great ones do it or be around it, and then when you're thrown in it, like the, the job really is to coordinate. Like, what does that really mean? I think everybody in our business thinks plays, 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 and they matter. But you're really just trying to make sure you help guide and give direction to a great staff. And I'm not just saying that to try to make sure it hits right for you all. It's the truth. Like, we have a great staff, guide and direct the staff, and then let them do their jobs and work. And there's a lot more time put into that than there is some of the other stuff that you're used to doing. And then there's no such thing as free time, even when you step away from it a little bit, which is the world of coaching. You know, there's things that wake you up at night and there's things that wake you up in the morning that you're constantly thinking about because you can never do enough. So it's a lot. Um, in a very positive way, it's a lot. Now that you know who your quarterback is, you know who your primary running back is, you're starting to put the pieces in place. What do you think this offense looks like? Well, it's, um, we know what we want it to look like. Like As far as how we want to be perceived when somebody turns on the film, you want to see a team that takes care of the football, which I said very early in this thing, that plays really hard and is physical, and then we play with great details, meaning the ability to make our plays work. And so that's who it's going to define us. Like We'll always result to those first and live our creed through them. We want to be able to run the football, be a physical team and then give the ability for our players to, to to do what they do. Well your personnel I mean starts with your quarterback he's obviously a good one. In terms of just on the field like what, what is he really good at? Well it, there's a lot to be said about experience and being in it. He's been in the fire a lot so I think there's more than anything for all of us the ability to handle failure as much as success. So when you're around a guy that's been as many fires as he has he's been able to learn that balance. So I think with that comes an ultimate respect now he's built trust throughout the summer. I think that's the difference for him. He's built respect by being here. Trust is earned. He's earned that right. And we've also got a great locker room around him that it's embraced it. How much do the two of you collaborate? A lot. We have to. Um, I think more important for me, I want to know what he likes and what he feels um, so we can communicate and go. It doesn't matter if we really like one or I really like a player or a scheme and those things. If he doesn't or he doesn't feel it, mm -hmm. shame on us. Parker and Hartman will lean on the big guys up front to help make that offense go as Notre Dame enters the season with, I'd say, arguably the most dominant offensive tackle tandem in the country. For sure. Joe Alt and Blake Fisher, they're only juniors, but already have a combined 36 starts between them and return to anchor an offensive line that paved the way for nearly 2,500 rushing yards last season and 25 touchdowns. During fall camp, the pair spoke to us about working together in practice to make each other better and bringing a dominant mindset every time they step on the field. I know I'm better than the man across from me. Um, like I don't ever have any doubts or any emotions that you know kind of make me hesitant from the person I'm going against because um, that's just you know how I feel personally. Um, I know I'm dominant. Me and Blake are really close, so I think for us it's just like the little bit of competition, you know, just in like the basic drills. You know, it just kind of it gets a little, you know, you don't really like we're not trying to compete, but it just does it. You know, you just. You always want to be the guy who, like, oh, that's how look good. And, you know, just between me and him, it's just been, it's always fun to just compete and just get up. You don't really know you're getting better, but you're like, wow, I feel so much better. You feel pretty good about those bookend yeah, tackles yeah. there, especially when they're breaking in some new guys at the guard position. Um, but they're solid on the outside for sure. And you can bet they're going to give plenty of space to Sam Hartman to operate and also create gaps for the running backs. Yeah, the running back room is one of the deeper position groups that the Irish have, with Audrick Estime in charge and expected to be the lead back. A season ago, Estime led the team in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. He spearheads a promising group that added 
Graduate transfer Devin Ford from Penn State. Jadarian Price returns from an Achilles injury, in addition to sophomore Jabron Payne and freshman Jeremiah Love, both drawing praise from the coaching staff. But all of them feel that they can step up at any time. Everybody can do everything. And like I said, you can't take a day off. And so it's good when um, someone's out and you put somebody else in and you don't miss a beat. I've always been a leader growing up, so it's just something I just something I just step in and came pretty fluently and just we have a lot of young guys and young guys that have a lot of learning to do, but I'm also a guy that needs to do a lot of learning. But I just try to become come in every day with a positive mindset, lead by example, and try to be a vocal leader too. I'm Pete Byrne from WSBT 22 News. For more Notre Dame stories, like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube page. Thanks for watching.